Wakey, wakey! Time to get up, Busby. Papa and I are going out. Oh, yeah? Don't tell me you've forgotten. It's Auntie Bee's wedding day. Oh, yes! So that means... You've got to get up and have breakfast before we go. Grandma will be coming to look after me. With Jump! I'm glad Ruby's staying at Debbie's house. It means I get Grandma all to myself. Busby... First we'll take Jump for a walk, then we'll play football in the meadow, then we'll go home and she'll cook my favourite cheesy pasta. And then... Um, actually, Grandma's not coming today, Busby. What? But she always looks after me. Not this time. She and Grandpa are coming to the wedding with us. Oh. But if Grandma's not looking after me, who is? Katie Pillar. Oh. Oh, that'll be her now. What's up, Busby? Hello. You like Katie Pillar, don't you? Yes, it's just she won't know how to play football or make cheesy pasta and she won't bring jump. Hello, Busby. Hello. We'd better get off. Mustn't be late for the wedding. You're right. Busby will show you where everything is, Katie Pillar. Come on. See you later. Bye. Bye. Right. I've got lots of lovely things planned for us to do. Are they football? No, but I always play football when Grandma looks after me. I'm not very good at football, I'm afraid. That doesn't matter. You can go and go. Come on. <sighs> oh, dear. Busby, I... Oh! Yes! Perhaps a nice game of cat. <gasps> oh, goal! <sighs> You've got to at least try and stop the ball, Katie Pillar. That's the goalkeeper's job. I'm sorry, Busby. I get a bit nervous when it comes flying at me. Perhaps we could change places? Grandma always goes in goal. <sighs> Are you all right, Katie Pillar? <laughs> yes, but I'm not much of a footballer, I'm afraid. Come on. Are you sure we can have just as much fun doing something else? It won't be as much fun. When we picked the tomatoes, I thought we'd make pizza with them. Grandma always makes cheesy pasta. Ooh. <laughs> Flour, cheese, tomatoes. Right, that's everything we need. Ready? Ready. fun ever! As good as football? Nearly. <laughs> but in football, you don't get pizza to eat afterwards. That's true. Sorry I made you play football when you didn't want to, Katie Pillar. That's OK. It's good to try new things every so often. Right. We'd better clear up before your mum and dad get home. Hello, hello. Mmm, what's that tasty smelling smell? <laughs> Looks like you've been having fun. We made pizza! Mmm, that does look good. There's plenty for everyone. So what are we waiting for? Let's eat! Yay! Are you going out 
again tomorrow, Mama. I'm not sure. Why? So Casey Pillar can come and look after me again. She's the best babysitter ever. And you're the best football coach, Busby. Vincent. She just gurgles or giggles or <coughs> screams. Well, I remember both of you chattering away at her age. I'm sure Baby will talk when she's ready. Won't you, Baby? <coughs> what was my first word, Mama? And mine? Uh, well... Your first word, Ruby, was Mama. And your first word, Busby, was football. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. It was Papa. Hmm. Maybe Baby will never talk. Maybe she just needs some help. I bet I could get her to say my name. No way. She'll say mine first. You can't force her to speak. We all do things at our own pace. And Baby will do exactly what suits her. Won't you, baby? <laughs> I'm off. Vincent has agreed to keep an eye on you while I get some groceries. See you later. Mama, could we look after baby? Yeah, we'll take really good care of her. Well, all right then. I won't be long. Bye. Say Busby, baby. Say Ruby, Say Busby. baby. Ruby, Busby, your, your big, big brother. sister, Ruby. Busby, Busby, Busby. Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. What are you two up to? We're trying to make Baby say her first word. But we're not getting very far. Have you tried Baby words? What do you mean? You know, words like Goo Goo and Gaga. <laughs> oh, huh? leave it to me. Tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> Say tickle, baby. <laughs> Howdy doody, everybody. Oh, baby got a cold? <clears throat> no, she just won't talk. Won't talk, eh? There, let me have a go. People! Say people, baby. Say people. People! 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 She's never going to speak. Come on, let's go on the swings, Barnaby. Oh, greetings, everyone. Out for my morning stroll. We're trying to get Baby to speak, Dr Beetle. I see. The science of first words is precise and exact, facilitated solely through meticulous and correct articulation. Uh, um, well... What do you mean? You need to speak very clearly to her. Let me show you. <coughs> a good morning. How do you do? Would you like a cup of tea? <laughs> oh, oh dear. She may not be able to talk, but she can certainly make herself heard. Hello, everyone. What are you all up to? Hello, Miss Ladybird. Do you know how to make baby talk? Hmm. Sing her a song. Baby, baby, it's a great day. Talk to us, baby. What will you say? Talking is great. 
you can learn to communicate. You're sure to be heard when you say your first word. There's no end to the fun with words like bow, cup, uh, um, uh, sun. Baby, baby, it's a great day. Talk to us, baby, what will you say? <laughs> oh, it's no good. She doesn't want to speak. Can't say we didn't try. Oh, indeed. Maybe our singing put her off. <laughs> <laughs> right, must be getting on. Same here. Total pip, everyone. Yes, I've got homework to mark. Goodbye. Bye. Cooey. All OK? Yes, Mama. Good. Come on, then. It's way past baby's bedtime. Let's go home. There you go, baby. What a long day. I'll just go and run you a bath before bed. We've tried everything. I guess Mum was right. She'll speak when she's ready. <sighs> Night, night, baby. Night, night. <gasps> well, well done, done, baby! baby. <laughs> <laughs> night, night. Bye, Busby. Where are you going? Katie Pillar's greenhouse. She said I can spend the day with her and help to plant the seedlings. Just make yourself useful, Ruby. I will. I'm going to be very useful. And she'll be really pleased with me. I'm sure she will. Come on. Hmm. I could be very useful too. I've got an exciting idea. Let's be useful. Be useful? Uh-huh. Ruby's going to Katie Pillars to be useful and she's allowed to plant seedlings. Oh, sounds boring. I'm going to play football. Hmm. I want to be useful. You do? But who can we help? Hmm. Hello, Busby. Hello, Barnaby. Hello, Hello Miss Ladybird. Would you like any help? We're very useful. Thank you, boys. But I don't really need help with anything at the moment. Good morning. Hello. Oh, Mr Millipede. How nice to see you. How are you? Uh, truth be told, snowed under, Miss Ladybird. Got all my hands full. <laughs> That's it. We can help Mr Millipede in the garage. Brilliant, Busby. Uh, oh, well, I must get to it. A millipede's work is never done. Goodbye, boys. Bye. Miss Ladybird. <laughs> Come on, Barnaby. Let's go and help him. Wait for us, Mr Millipede. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, so much to do. What's first? Um, oh, yes. Oiling the wheels. Now, where's my oil can? Mr Millipede, we heard you were busy. Oh, yes, uh, very busy. Uh, a list as long as all my arms. <laughs> We've come to help you out. Oh, well, that's very kind of you, but I'm not sure there's anything you can do. We're very useful, Mr Millipede. Look, we can tidy up. Oh, well, um, yes, I, I suppose that would be quite useful. Uh, oh, dear me, that, that wasn't very useful, was it? Sorry. Another thing for the list. Uh, now, let me think. Uh, oh, I know I had my oil can when I went to Ant Hill's stores this morning. We'll have to think of something else. We can polish, Mr Millipede. Yeah, that's useful. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
sorry, Mr. Millipede. Oh, dear. Another thing. Must fix wheel hub. Oh, dearie me, dearie me. Look, we can wash the car, Mr. Millipede. Yes, we're really good at that. Oh, no. Oh, don't touch that, boys. No. Oh, oh. Oh, no. Now, I know you're trying to be useful, boys, but really, I think we'd all be better off if you just left me to find my oil can. OK. Sorry, Mr Millipede. Oh. <laughs> must mend tap. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I don't think we were very useful after all. Poor Mr Millipede. We just made more work for him. I wish we could find a way to say sorry. Why don't we look for his oil can? Think how pleased he'll be. But we don't know where to look. We'll start where he was this morning, at Ant Hill Stores. Brilliant, Barnaby. I'll never get my chores done unless I find it. We didn't find it. Now we'll never make things better. We just haven't found it yet, Barnaby. But we've been everywhere. Oh, dearie me, dearie me. Oh, never ends, does it? No. Everywhere but here. Look! <laughs> oh, no more help, please. Don't worry, Mr Millipede. We found your oil can. You did? Yes, it's in your hand. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. It was there all along. Oh, dear me. Oh, how embarrassing. Oh, thank you. You know what? I think I know a way you can be useful after all. A complete toolbox. You found all the things I'd lost. Well done. Sometimes when people are really useful, they deserve a reward. So this is to say thank you. <gasps> thank, thank you, Mr. Mr. Millipede. <laughs> Pollen stoppers. How'd you get those? Me Jigsaw. Mama, I've got nothing to do. OK, everybody. Here we are, baby. Here's your dummy. Ruby, your jigsaw's in your bedroom. And here, Busby, why don't you draw a picture? Good idea. Everyone's sorted. Good. Now I have to finish making Katie Pillar's birthday card. Then ice some cakes for Ant Hill stores. Oh, I just wish I didn't have this too cold. What should I draw? What, what, what? Shush, Busby. I'm trying to do my jigsaw. Ruby's doing her jigsaw. Ruby's doing her jigsaw. Busby, la, 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 la. be quiet. Mama, tell him. OK, OK. Let's just... <laughs> you don't sound very well. My cold's getting worse and my voice is almost gone. You should lie down on the sofa like we do when we're ill. I can't. I haven't finished this card yet. And I've still got those cakes to ice. You need to lie down and get better. 
We can do your jobs. Yeah, we'll be Mama for the day. How hard can it be? I'll print out Katie's card. You get Baby to sleep and get started on the cakes. OK. Here you go, Baby. Oh! <coughs> Let's try something else. Baby, baby, go to sleep. Let's not hear another beep. Baby, baby, don't you wake. I'll be icing Mama's cakes. Ah, that was easy. Now I can get the cakes ready. I'm taking the card to Katie. OK. She'll find it when she gets back. Hmm. I'm not sure how to make icing, so I'll just add a bit of everything. <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to do that. I dropped off Katie's card. What did you write in it? <gasps> oh no, I forgot to write anything. She won't know who sent it. <laughs> Grandma to come round and help. But we want to do it all by ourselves. You could tell us what to do. But I'm losing my voice, Ruby. You can tell us through this. Baby always sleeps better with a teddy bee. <coughs> Ruby, can you make me an ice cup of honey and lemon? Busby, could you tidy up the mess? OK. Now, Ruby, you go and write in Katie's card while I tell Busby the secret of making perfect icing. Yes! Okay. Just what I'm waiting for. I don't know how your mama makes such delicious icing. <laughs> I do. We're back. Hello. How do you feel, mama? Much better, thank you. The honey and lemon really helped. We didn't know how hard you worked, mama. From now on, we're going to help you all the time. Hello, everyone. <gasps> oh, no! Now you're not well. Could you two go into work and do my job for me? <gasps> Only joking. Mama phoned me and told me what you've been doing. <laughs> <laughs> we would have done your job, Papa. Yeah, if you can be Mama for a day, you can do anything.
must be. Yeah, last one to the playground said dung beetle. Oi, me first. Yes, Mama? I'm making pancakes for supper and I've run out of honey. Could you nip to Anthill stores and pick me up a pot, please? But Jasper and I are going to the playground. After you've done this little job for me. OK. Have a nice picnic, you two. Thanks for We will, Millis. Bye, then. Morning, boys. Morning, Morning Miss Ladybird. <laughs> and Mr Millipede. Now, how can I help you, Busby? I'd like some honey, please. Mama's making pancakes. Oh, lovely. Everyone's at it. I've heard postman spiders having waffles. <laughs> Here we go. One pot of honey. <laughs> oh, no. Are you all right, Millis? Fine, fine. Oh, dearie. That was the last honey jar. And Vince is at a dance competition, so we can't get any more. Could you two clean this up and watch the store while I nip and get another box? Oh, well, we... Smash oh. him! I won't be long. Great. We're never going to get to the playground. <sighs> Morning, Millis. Hello, Katie. Can't stop to gossip. I've left Buzz Mind in the shop. So you do have some gossip. Well, you'll never guess, but Mr. Yeah. B was in the shop and apparently he's out for a date. Ooh. I really want to play. We could always play in here. Mm. Swinging makes you hungry. Hmm. Those pollen stoppers look delicious. Jasper, we can't eat them. Millis wouldn't mind if we just had one. Maybe you're right. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, this honey weighs a ton. And Vince is out there enjoying himself. Everybody's driving. Driving in the high. That's the song. Everybody's driving. Driving in the high. Boy, this place is buzzing. This party's coming alive. Because everybody's driving. Driving in the high. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? <clears throat> Lord Bartleby Buzz speaking. Just to let you know, I'm on my way to collect the Queen's jar of pollen stoppers. Uh, OK, Lord Bartleby. Oh, no! Look at the mess we've made. And we've eaten all the pollen stoppers. Dear me, the place is a mess. Millis has let her standards slip. <gasps> Jasper, Busby, I see you. Um, Millis has just nipped out. That's OK. I'm just here for the Queen's order. Uh, OK, Lord Bartleby. Maybe it's here somewhere. Maybe the Queen would like some honeydew drops instead. Hmm? They're much tastier. Oh, no. The Queen likes her pollen stoppers. What about fruit? That's good for you. The Queen loves fruit, but today I'm here for her pollen stoppers. Um, well, you see, the thing is... <gasps> What's happened here? Deary me, the place is a mess. And there don't seem to be any pollen stoppers about. The jar is empty. Oh, luckily I have a spare jar in the storeroom. Thank you, Millis. 
You may want to think about tidying up in here a bit. We all need to keep up our standards. Mm -hmm. Good day to you. <laughs> now, what's been going on here? We couldn't go to the playground, so... We played here instead. Oh, oh my, my tummy. tummy. Sounds like you've been eating too many of my pollen stoppers. Sorry, Sorry Millis. So you should be. To make up for it, you can tidy up this mess and unpack all these heavy jars of honey. Yes, Millis. <laughs> Wait till I tell Vince about this. Here's the honey, Mama. Thank you, Busby. I've got a treat for you for being such a good boy. Have a pollen stopper. Ooh. No, thanks, Mama. Tomorrow, I can't wait. Me neither. I'm going to juggle. I'm brilliant at juggling. This ladybird asked me to be the talent show presenter, telling jokes and stuff. <laughs> you don't know any jokes. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be great, Barnaby. I want to do a flying routine, but it will be no fun on my own. <laughs> Unless. Wait for me, you two. I've got an idea. Let's sing a song. I think we should do a play. But I can sing really well. And I can act really well. Hey, you two. Do you want to help with my flying display? I can be the leader and you two can... No, thank you, Busby. We're, We're going, going to, to do, do a, a play. Song. A play? A play is much more fun. A song is. But a play would be much better. Oh, Hello, fun. Busby. What are those two arguing about? There's a talent show at school tomorrow. And we're going to do a song. Or a play. I'm better at plays. Why don't you do something you're both good at? Like a flying routine with me. No. no. How about a dance routine? Did someone say dance routine? <laughs> Want to see the Vince? Ah! Yay! <laughs> Busby, you're never going to be perfect by tomorrow. We're going to do the dance without you. Sorry, Busby, but you're officially a dancing disaster. Oh. Silly dance, silly left, silly right. Howdy doody, Busby. Are you not practicing for the talent show tomorrow? Not going. Not going? Why not? Because I'm officially a dancing disaster. Oh, dear. Uh, hang on. Who says so? Ruby and Debbie say so. They want everything to be perfect. Perfect? Oh, get away, lad. Dancing's not about being perfect. It's not. No, it's about listening to the music and finding your own beat. Hey! <laughs> oh, look here. Moonwalk. Hey! That was brilliant! Yep, hey! 
Still got it. Never mind perfect, Busby. Just find your own beat. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's Nail! Well done, Snail. <coughs> Thank you, Snail. Next, we have two prancing peas. I mean, two dancing bees. <laughs> 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 Next, it's the Busby dance. <laughs> everyone. That was a lovely show. Each performance was special. Let's all do the Busby! Hey, hey, it's easy once you try. for Barnaby. We're going to practice for the game on Friday. But that's two days away. I know, but I want to score the winning goal. Yeah, well, so do I. Hey! Boys, time for school. But Barnaby's not here yet, Miss Ladybird. Sorry, Busby. Poor Barnaby's got a droopy antenna. He won't be coming to school today. Come along inside now. Oof! Lucky Barnaby. A whole day off school. But he's practising his football right now. Hmm. Wish I had a droopy antenna. One, uh, one, two, uh, uh, three. <laughs> right. What about making your bed? Mama, I'm practising for the big game on Friday. You promised, Busby. I've got to score the winning goal. <sighs> OK. <sighs> I bet Barnaby isn't making his bed. I bet he's practising. Hmm. Maybe I could have a droopy antenna too. After all, I need to practise too. Don't I, Teddy Bee? Nope. Right, try again. <laughs> Busby, time to get up. Mm, I don't feel well. Oh dear, poor Busby. I'll call Dr Beetle mm. right away. Mm, yes, 
I see. Mm. Quite so, mm, quite so. A droopus antennus, yes. You've got a droopy antenna. I'm afraid I see no option. The, the patient must stay at home and rest. It's quite a nasty case. Yes! Oh. <coughs> yes, yes uh, two days should be sufficient. Two days? What about the football game? <sighs> Time for your medicine. Antenna. I can go back to school tomorrow, can't I? Hmm, no. Best to follow Dr Beetle's advice, I think. Come on, back into bed and have a nice, quiet chat with Barnaby, who's kindly come to visit his poorly friend. A droopy antenna is no joke. I should know. But... <sighs> I made it all up. Really? Because I wanted a day off school to practice. But it's horrible having a droopy antenna, Busby. Nobody should pretend things like that. Sorry, Barnaby. I didn't think of it like that. It's just, I wanted to play in the football game so badly because I really wanted to score, score the winning goal. goal. Yes! <sighs> well then, if you're not really poorly, Busby, you can help me clean the kitchen floor. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Watch me, you mean? Hey, Barnaby! School, go on! Thanks, Busby. And my antenna doesn't hurt anymore. Look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad to know that my excellent care produced such swift and lasting results. A great recovery, if I say so myself. Yes, great. <laughs> More cherry pie, Dr. Beetle. Oh, no, I mustn't. Well, uh, perhaps just a little. A bit more. A little bit more. Yes, yes, carry on. That's what you think. Hey. Hello there, Busby. How are... Look out! Oh. I'm sorry. Oh, Ruby, what's going on? You two having a... Oh. Sorry. Race. I'm going to beat you. No, you won't. I always win. Hey! Oh, no. Not again. 
Let's try something else. Uh, um... Bet I can swing higher than you. Come on, then. Hey, Busby. Do you want to play football? No, thanks. I'm going on the swings. Catch! Here you go, Snail. Catch! I'm highest! I'm highest! I'm... Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Wow. Wow. Wow! Do you like my new scooter, then? Like it? It's amazing. Can I have a go? Yes, but be careful, Busby. It's a bit tricky. Nobody can do it straight away. I know how to ride a scooter, Debbie. I just need a bit of practice, that's all. Can I have a go? You won't be able to do it, Ruby. It's like Debbie said. Nobody can do it straight away. Oh. I know I can ride it. I know I can. You'll never be as good as Ruby, Busby. She's amazing. <sighs> it's not fair. She's best at everything. We're just going to the shop, Busby. Oh. Hmm. I could look after your scooter if you like, Debbie. I'm not sure. You can't take it into the shop and you don't want to leave it outside. Well... All right, then. Yes! Make sure you look after it, Busby. I will. Bye! Right. Just as good as Ruby. Busby? Woohoo! Busby? <laughs> Busby! <laughs> that's not scooting, that's flying! <gasps> oh no! <gasps> oh no! Hello! <gasps> oh no! I'm really sorry, Debbie. I was trying to ride it. And it went all wrong. I told you to be careful, Busby. I know. I... I just wanted to be the best at something. You're definitely the best at breaking things. What I want to know is, how are we going to fix it? Hmm... I know! Just a, another one of those, just like that, and then pull... Right, there we go, I should do it. There we go, Debbie. Good as new. Thanks, Mr Millipede. Well, what's up, Busby? You look a bit glum. He wasn't very good on the scooter. I see. And your sister was, eh, Busby? Hmm. I just wanted to be better than Ruby at one thing. Well, there is one thing you're better at than everyone. What's that? Everyone's good at different things. That's all. I'm not just good at football. I'm the best. Ah. <laughs> 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 Thank <laughs> you.
something special for school first. Miss Ladybird asked me. <sighs> Morning, Grandma. I've come to collect Jump. He's just having a sleep. And Grandpa, too. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for letting me take Jump to school, Grandma. Everyone's going to love him. Remember, Jump gets very excited. You must keep him on a lead. OK, Grandma. Come on, Jump, walkies. Now, now, Jump, now come here. <laughs> Just remember what I said. Keep him on the lead. You don't want him running off. Bye, Grandma. Good morning, children. Good morning, Mrs. Ladybird. Now, I've asked Busby to bring in a special guest. This is Jump, and today we're going to learn how to look after a pet. <gasps> oh, oh, right. Yeah. Yes. Oh, this, this. Does he like playing? Yep, lots. But most of all, Jump loves to jump. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Lesson one, walking your pet. Come on, jump. Walkies. That's it. Oh, good boy. Your turn, Busby. Come on, jump. Follow me, boy. Come on, jump. <laughs> Come on. Walkies. Walkies. Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> ah, jump! <laughs> Lesson two. Let's play search and find. I've hidden a shoe somewhere around the school. Let's see if Jump can find it. Once he's smelt this shoe, he should be able to smell out the other one. Come on, boy. Let's find the shoe. Whoa! Where are you going, Jump? Whoa! Oh, yeah, Jump! Whoa! Whoa! Hang on, Jump! Whoa! I think we almost found it! Uh, oh, get him off! Where? Hey! Oh, 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 me let us oh. Oh, oh. Well, he found the shoe. Oh, just not the right one. Sorry, Postman Spider. Oh. Uh. Lesson three. Maybe this will go more smoothly. When your pet is off the lead, you must be able to call him back to you. Right, Jump. We can do this. But Grandma said we shouldn't let him off his lead. Don't worry, Ruby. I know what I'm doing. Jump will run straight back to me. But... Busby! <laughs> Jump, you have to stay here until I call you. Stay here, OK? <laughs> See? I do know what I'm doing. Come on, then. Come here. Come here. Here, boy. Come on. Here, boy. Jump. Here, boy. Jump. Come here, boy. Here, boy. Come on. Come to me. Here, boy. Come on. <gasps> no, jump. Not that way. Oh, dear. <gasps> I'll get him. Jump! Oh no! He's gone and it's all my fault. Miss Ladybird, I have to go and look for Jump. Of course, you should both go. Make sure you find him. Come on, Ruby. Jump! 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 Here, boy! Here, boy! Come on, Here, boy. Come on Jump! Look, 
He was here too. And we're too late again. I've lost him forever. And now I have to tell Grandma and Grandpa. We'll do it together. Come on. Oh, there you are. We were just about to head home. Grandma, something bad has happened. We're just taking Jump for a walk first. Uh, but you can't. I've lost him. Oh, no. Oh, come here. Jump! He always knows where to find us. He must have jumped all the way home by himself. I let him off the lead, Grandma. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Jump's just too jumpy. You know, he's as good as gold, really. You just have to know how to handle him. Wait, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, 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 oh. the story of how the bee got his stripes. Now, outside to play, everybody. <sighs> <laughs> Did you think that was a bedtime story? Yeah, I think I'm going to have a nap. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> My mum lets me stay up late all the time and I never feel tired. Huh? Whee! <laughs> See? I, I, I've I stayed up late loads of times too. Yeah, well, I dare you to stay up all night then. OK. <gasps> you can't stay up all night. You'd get really tired. <laughs> It'll be easy for me, but Busby still needs a nap, so he can't do it. Yes, I can. I'm going to stay up all night too. <laughs> Time for bed, you two. OK. Night, Mama. Night, Ruby. But, um, I'm still hungry. Really hungry. All right. You can have a bit of fruit. Thanks. One. Two. Two and a bit. Two and a bit more. Busby. You told me not to gobble my food. <sighs> I'm also a little bit thirsty. <sighs> Here you go. Thanks. Come on, Busby. Off to bed now. Why do I have to go to bed anyway? <laughs> because you need your sleep. I'll come and tuck you in. Can't I stay up with you for a little bit? No! no. Come on. Now, get a good night's sleep or you won't be able to enjoy your football practice tomorrow. <sighs> We don't need any sleep, do we, Teddy? I stayed up all night. <sighs> Busby! Rise and shine! It's 
not cereal. Hey, that's my seat. Sorry. <laughs> Your spoon's the wrong way round, Busby. Oh. <laughs> oh, Busby. <laughs> hey, you two. I did it. I stayed up all night. You did? Wow. Oh, yeah. Me too. Oh, aren't you tired? Course not. Oh. Uh... Well, we're fine, but Busby's a bit of a sleepyhead today. He needs an early night like Jasper had <gasps> last night. He fell asleep on the sofa. I had to carry him to bed. <laughs> I don't think there'll be any arguments about going to bed on time tonight. So you didn't stay up all night? Um, no. Sorry, I've never stayed up that long. Are you going to stay up tonight as well? No way! I need to get some sleep so I can save some goals in football. <laughs> Busby? Hmm? Let's get you tucked in properly. Good night, Busby. Busby?